Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing well. So today I will be showing you the art supplies that I use to uh, grow my channel, and I have been using uh, by two years now. So I will be showing you uh, this much pens, and I will be giving a little bit of description about it, and I will be showing you how I uh, use them and uh, how the uh, how. Uh, what is the price of it and where do you get on all that stuff and I will be drawing a little bit of uh, sketch, uh, random sketches from it so you can take uh, a little view on it so let's get started with this video and I will show you the art supplies that I use supplies are the main thing uh, in your uh, if you are an artist or uh, any other work you do because uh, the supplies that you have used uh, has to be very good and uh, has to be effective by the way we just crossed 1000 subscribers so uh, thank you to all the viewers that support support me for, uh, from 0 to 1000 so thank you for all that I will be uh, giving a giveaway the giveaway video will be soon on the channel so stick to the channel and uh, I will be showing you today the uh, supplies I have used. So these are all, most of them are the black uh, ballpoint pen uh, art I will be using, and uh, some are red and blue. So first of all, I will be showing you the latest one I have got from uh, uh, the local market. That is this white pen. Uh, this is actually. A Uh, 60 rupees or one dollar I guess uh, you can get uh, in uh, any stationery near you so this is the white pen I have uh, just bought uh, I guess one to two months ago so it's a very nice pen and as you can see the tip uh, is actually 0 0.5 to 0 point uh, greater than that so you will you have very uh, you know you it's from uniball signal it's actually 0 0.7 it's written over there uh, uh, in uh, white pen it's actually uh, you can draw this uh, pen in uh, on not only on paper you can draw or normal any uh, you know furniture or any structure or any metal you have uh, in your house or in your art studio or anywhere so it's uh, actually a very plus point format uh, actually uh, most of the black pens or markers are uh, you know uh, you don't you can't write on uh, mirrors or structures or any other metal you have to use but this pen you can write it on anywhere and it's it has a nice fluid ink uh, and it's uh, viscosity is perfect for any artist and uh, I have drawn a little two three sketches from it and I will be doing a little uh, drawing uh, on my PC cabinet actually with it so I will be uh, taking that video also next so going on next we have uh, this uh, black ballpoint pen I have been using from my past six years of career, and uh, this is actually 0 0.5 mm pen, and this is uh, this is like 10 rupees in Indian rupees and uh, dollar. It's actually in cents, so you can use any ballpoint pen, and this is the ballpoint pen I have been using all my. Uh, you can watch the video if you are watching my videos on my channel. You can see all the videos I have been drawing from this pen only. Uh, you can watch the, I will give you, if you are new to the channel, I will give you uh, the iPad and link, uh, you can watch that, uh, that I have been using this pen from past uh, one year of uh, when I will be uh, using ballpoint pen at, I use only this pen, because it's actually very, it, it's grip is nice, it's uh, viscosity ink is nice, and uh, the tip is 0.5 mm, so you can fill in the details very easily, and uh, uh, it's uh, black is uh, actually a little uh, uh, black picture than uh, any other black so these are the two pens and uh, the third one is uh, the this black markers actually these black markers are from uh, from Camly uh, these are actually permanent markers I have been using from this actually from uh, past one or two years uh, in my channel actually uh, before that I've been using it uh, uh, school and high school band so that's why and uh, it's actually says fine tip water resistance and uh, it's a uh, 0.5 mm I guess uh, 
the black markers and uh, these are very you know effective black markers you can write it uh, on any surface actually and uh, on paper it they work so great and on canvases and all that stuff actually you have to uh, fill in the details of eyes and all that stuff uh, and if you don't have a small brush you can use these markers as well these markers are brilliant and uh, it's actually i guess 10 to 20 rupees in indian rupees and uh, cents uh, in, you can get in 20 or 30 cents in uh, us dollars i guess you can get it any mar any surroundings or any markets in your uh, surroundings so and next we have the pencils over here so i have two pencils actually this is a normal pencil uh, it's actually not hb or any b pencils it's a normal pencil and uh, I have been drawing this pair. Actually, this pencil is useful for the rough sketch or the first sketch where you have to draw on. Uh, if you are doing ballpoint sketch, water painting art, or any of the art, you have to just rough this uh, rough sketch for it. So I will be I uh, using this pencil from uh, for my beginning of the art career. So this pencil is actually you can use any pencil of it because. Uh, it doesn't matter you have to just rough sketch over it so it has to be light over uh, light and it's not uh, you know deep and penetrating so this is the pencil i have been using for rough sketch and this is the other pencil from uh, gambling i guess uh, it's uh, actually acrylic pencil uh, it's uh, cost uh, 60 rupees i guess uh, one dollar again so it's actually uh, can't be used on paper, but uh, I use on paper uh, because uh, it's it's actually you know uh, bit darker than any other uh, 12B or 10B pencils because it uh, it is a black acrylic pencil. It works on uh, canvases very well, but uh, on paper it's very, it's very 99% rough. So but it's create a nice uh, you know uh, black color and pitch darky. So that's why I use this. So I uh, actually I don't use uh, this pencil commonly. I've been using this from uh, about two months. I will be giving uh, two videos. I've been using on my channel uh, in I button. So watch that video and uh, as you, uh, you can see how this pencil works on paper. Actually, it's uh, not it's not made for paper. It's only made for canvases and acrylic. Uh, if you do acrylic paintings and so that's why. So uh, next we have this blue ballpoint pen. So I've been changing blue ballpoint pens from uh, months to months. Uh, this is actually Renault's liquid foil tip. I've been using this pen because uh, it has uh, uh, blue ink uh, darker than anybody. Any pen you can get in your uh, surroundings, and uh, it has a nice 0.8 mm uh, tip. So it creates nice uh, darker, you know, uh, because. The black ball pen pen I've been using zero point five mm, so it's for details and all that stuff. And but uh, for doodling and all that stuff, you don't uh, need that much uh, uh, fine tip. So I've been using this zero point eight mm uh, Renault pen uh, now onwards because uh, I've been using in the past very different paints, uh, uh, blue. I because I only use black ball pen pen sketch. Uh, I've uh, done I guess two three videos only with blue ball pen pen. So this is another one and uh, this is a black marker for from color pick so it's actually of 20 to 30 rupees I guess uh, 50 cents in dollars so it's actually uh, it has a 1 mm tip I guess because it's uh, very you know, thick. Uh, it's, it can be said usable on glass, plastic, metal, wood, laundry and most other surfaces. Uh, usable for a long period without a cap, refillable uh, recap after use. So it's actually a refillable marker, so you can use it again and again if you have the ink over it, ink of it. So it's actually a permanent marker and it works very well on paper. It's a, it is very smooth and uh, it's great nice uh, depth of black uh, pitch black pitch black effect on the paper and uh, it's actually the thick uh, when you have to fill the black color over the ball pen pen sketch so you can't use that 0.5 mm it will take a huge amount of time so you have to just uh, paint with thick marker so i will be uh, i have been using this for a very long time and this company makes uh, very good black inks but uh, a little bit drawback but uh, this was uh, this marker uh, if the ink, uh, ink is uh, slowing down 
the the darkness of the ink gets uh, you know liquefied so that's why this uh, one dog so we uh, there are three pens remaining so this i will be talking about this black gel pen this is a, uh, actually a black uh, plasmid octane gel pen uh, it's actually of 2.0.5 uh, mm sorry. so I, will, I have been using this pen from uh, with this black ball one pen uh, there is a huge amount of difference between a black ballpoint pen and a black gel pen. The black ballpoint pen doesn't have that glossy black ink, but uh, the gel pen has a blacky, uh, glossy black ink. So, you know, it's create nice glossy look in the paper, on the paper or uh, on the canvas you have been using. So, it's create nice uh, glossy look and uh, uh, if you have the black ink, very glossy, it uh, looks nice on the white paper on the or any white surf surface. It creates a nice contrast with it, so uh, it's actually of uh, I guess 10 rupees and you can refill by it uh, refill. Uh, so it's very cheap in, and you can get in your surroundings and you can draw some uh, uh, very nice art with this because it's very uh, smooth on paper and it uh, uh, works nice on canvases also. So this is the Octane Gel Pen and uh, next up we have two red pens. Actually this is the red marker and this is the red pen. So this is a red pen from Cello. Uh, I've been using this red pen from uh, my beginning of the drawing because drawing career because this uh, red pen is uh, actually a gel pen, not a ballpoint pen. Uh, be uh, because uh, I, the reason behind I've been using not the black, uh, red ballpoint pen uh, but the red gel pen because uh, another uh, that's the reason because the glossy ink of it and this red has the glossiest ink uh, in the red belly industry you can say because uh, this pen is very smooth on paper it creates nice glossy ink and uh, it is my bright red color and the saturation is very nice because it has perfect bloody red color and you can if you want to draw blood and all the stuff uh, in my paintings you can see I, I draw a lot of creepy stuff of uh, blood and all that stuff so it, it is very nice uh, in using that and it's actually I guess a five, 5 to 10 rupees you can get uh, in, in your surroundings or in a stationary shop and next up we have this uh, red pen it's actually of the same company and the same uh, uh, market you have a black and a red pen also I've been using this gambling uh, DVD marker so this is actually black and this is the red one so the reason behind uh, I am not using this marker much because uh, it's actually not as much as red this uh, but it's actually more of a reddish brown or reddish black color. I don't know why it creates that effect on the paper but if you uh, draw the first layer on the uh, without applying a little more pressure it creates a nice red effect but uh, if you apply the more of the pressure on the paper it uh, the red has been desaturated or desaturated uh, is not the correct word but it creates a nice uh, blackish red effect on it so I don't know why the it's a, it's in the manufacturing issue or uh, it's uh, my uh, more pressure issue so I've been using this uh, uh, not very much often but I've been using this from past one to the one to two years with this uh, red pen because uh, it has a, a little uh, thicker tip than this so that's why I'm using this so as you can see this uh, all pens have uh, I've been using and actually if you want to buy all of that it's uh, actually under 50 or uh, 50 or 70 rupees in india rupees uh, that is uh, less than 2 dollars and uh, you will create you have to you will create a nice uh, artwork or any other artwork you can create from this uh, 5 to 10 pens and uh, if you don't want to uh, buy the double double pens that is the gel on the ballpoint pen i have done so you can uh, go with uh, only the gel pen or only the ball pen is up to you how you want to use or how you want to see if the budget is actually cheap not uh, you have to save the budget and all that stuff but uh, if you want to you can do that and uh, this uh, black markers i have two black markers one thick one and one thin one so you can compromise on that also if you don't if you don't want to carry much of the stuff because uh, it's actually more you can see the it's actually more stuff in here 
so that's all and i will be uh, that's all information about this pens so i will be drawing some random sketches with this uh, little little so in ahead of the video so stick to the channel and i will be showing you the tip and all that stuff all the other information about this pens and i will be drawing a random sketch about small small sketches from this pen so you will be getting a little idea of uh, how this pen works and uh, how will uh, if which one you want to buy so let's jump into the further part so guys uh, we gonna draw now with this all the supplies we have here so first of all i am drawing with the rough uh, pencil and uh, i'm drawing just a rough figure of it then i will be using a black pencil to darken some areas uh, darken uh, actually i'm drawing a devil or a skull head uh, so i will be drawing uh, two parts with this black pencil i will be uh, darkening this area first with the black pencil so it can look a little bit of uh, <coughs> dark in the picture and uh, uh, so as you can see i am using the dark pencil uh, black pencil in this area and I, next up we have a black ball point pen the solo gripper one which will we have been using from a long while in all the videos so this black markers we will be using to outline the whole area and then after we will be using all the supplies uh, uh, one by one so enjoy the time lapse and i will catch you in the next part So guys this is a sketch we have come up with so hope you guys like this video if you like this video share it with all your friends and subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram for all the further updates all the links are in description and up till now keep creating thing big and peace out